five signs your body shows too much acid and how you can fix it. Maintaining the correct pH balance in your body is very important to overall health. If your body's pH is highly acidic most of the time, you can increase your risk for a variety of diseases. A pH balance of zero to six is acid. A pH balance of seven is neutral and a pH balance of 8 to 14 is alkaline. If you have been eating a lot of acidic foods, you can adjust the balance by learning how to correct high acid pH with high alkaline foods. Monitor your stress level. If you have made dietary changes and included less acidic foods in your diet and still notice a high acid pH balance, stress could be the culprit. Utilize stress reduction techniques to help reduce acidity. Change your diet. Acidic foods may include meat, animal protein, dairy, white rice, wheat, and white flour, including pasta. Amaranth, millet, and quinoa are good grains. All meats are acidic, though beef, pork, and shellfish are the worst. Soy milk is alkaline, green tea, and tisanes are alkaline, but black tea and alcohol are acidic. Raw spinach is great, but cooked spinach not so much though it's not the worst. Check your medications as certain medications can cause your pH balance to be acidic. If you are not sure, speak to your doctor. If the medication is necessary and you cannot avoid it, you may help combat the acidic pH by eating alkaline foods. Use a pH testing strip to test your pH balance. You can either test your urine or saliva. Test 60 minutes before eating a meal and two hours after eating. This will give you the best range of pH. Test twice a week. Monitor your alcohol consumption. If you have problems with stomach acid, you may need to reduce or even stop drinking alcohol. The biggest culprits are beverages with a low ethanol concentration, less than 5%, such as beer and wine. Fermented alcoholic beverages, beer, wine, champagne, sherry, etc., are considered powerful stimulators of stomach acid production. No direct link has been discovered between alcohol and stomach ulcers, but people who have ulcers are also more likely to have cirrhosis of the liver, a condition often caused by heavy alcohol consumption. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos.